Port is clear. We're docked. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Just stay out. Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change it. Never seen a ship like yours before. But then again. I'm your chica. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Now that we know what's out there, things could have been even more interesting from here on out. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Mm, difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a bracken ridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. But with this stumbling block in our path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. I think I'm coming up on six years now. I was only a teenager when my father died, passing command of the ship to me, as is tradition. Because of that, I've had to sort of learn as I go along, instead of taking years of study and apprenticeship under the prior captain. I think some people on the ship resent me for not having the level of experience as my predecessors. But, at the same time, without my command, we likely wouldn't have made it here so quickly. Excellent. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Oh. Righto. Oh, this is truly wonderful. I'll make an announcement to the crew straight away. If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you, just myself and a select few others. Will you do this for us? I'm not worried. I'm confident we'll be able to hire a shuttle to ferry us back and forth until we're all there. Sure, it may increase the debt we owe those people, but it will be worth it. Splendid. Oh, we'll see you on your ship, then. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting. I 
wonder what else is out there. Thank you again for making this all possible. Constant is a peaceful ship. In the interior of this ship, comforting. Welcome back, Mr. Tofik. I am aware that this is your eighth visit to our resort. Your repeat patronage is much appreciated. Is there any assistance I may offer you today? Actually, a question. Usually, when I come here, incredible. The air. Oh, it's so. Uh, it's hot. Not in a bad way, though. So this is what fresh air is like. This alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower affecting the usual descent route. Nothing to worry about. To make up for this, allow me to credit your account with a 15% discount on How exciting it is to be the captain who finally brought us to our new home. It's okay, Vietor. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. Oh, my. Oh, it's almost too much. I've never seen such beauty, never experienced real nature. Pictures, videos, nothing does the real thing justice. I could do without some of the terms of this agreement, but if this is what it's like, I think we'll manage just fine. Thanks again. I'm looking forward to making this planet our new home. Just think, if you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one else would, we, we might still... I'm not sure yet. For now, it will stay in orbit, but it... Of course, it would be quite a shame to destroy such an important piece of human history. So I suppose it would do to seek an interested party and donate it for historical purposes. First, we need to meet with the settlement's leadership and confirm the details of our arrangement. 
Once we take care of that business, we'll begin the process of shuttling the rest of our people down and resettling them. I'm confident that with a few adjustments, we'll be able to assimilate into society, and once we pay off our debts, we'll travel wherever we want. Once again, thank you for your kindness and generosity. Your name will go down in our history books. You will always be welcome as a friend to our people. I'm not sure what to make of our new neighbors yet. I hope they remain amicable.